Mapping is about identity and a really powerful tool for being able to see your place on the earth. Google Earth Outreach has been working with Indigenous communities around the world to build their capacity to use mapping tools to visualize their connection to country. The whole idea around the Indigenous Mapping Workshop is really about demarcating the map and being able to reclaim that space and develop maps that have that Indigenous identity. What we're really trying to do is make an Australian context. That in your own Google Maps, not just an Australian context, but really granulate that down to an Indigenous context, how people use land in Australia. One of the features of a really good map are icons, symbols that are easy to read on the map and make you instantly understand how that map should be used and what it's trying to communicate. When we're doing the activities that we do out in the bush and we're visiting places like sacred sites or um, cultural places that have significance to different communities, we really need custom icons for that. And the reason why I'm here today is to try and develop the Aboriginal place names overlay to already our government map. Where we can have them cultural heritage icons, basically we can protect it more and it would be preserved for the future. I went in knowing that when people are accessing Google Maps, they're looking at it from a small device, that it needs to be quite simple, strong and bold. So we we're using concentric lines. And so some of the motifs were a bit tricky to play with. I felt almost like a kid who was given a piece of paper and given this circle where I can only draw in it. Aboriginal Australia is so broad, so diverse, that even we've been surprised about the types of icons people have requested. The process was really about recreating symbology that's relevant to Aboriginal communities, and that really came from representations in artwork and sand drawings as well. So these are the original sort of icons that people would have used to communicate, trying to recreate that visual language in a modern format. We've been able to ask Indigenous community members from all over Australia what type of icons they would like to use. That's the greatest thing about a workshop like this. To make sure that we are being respectful to the work, but also to our own histories and traditions as well. To ensure that people think about community, think about history, culture and identity on a level that could make them have a connection to it themselves.